Can any sunshine in E10 today? It's three 0 It's three points. You've got to be delighted with that. Yeah, very much so. And my first thanks go to the supporters. Uh, they got right behind the team today, from start to finish. And um, uh, when they do that, it produces a great atmosphere and really, really helped us. And if we're going to uh, uh, be successful this year, we do need, you know, we need our supporters. You can see that uh, both home and away, they're they're very vocal. And uh, uh, as I said, you know, our responsibility to make sure we put on the performances that, that uh, create some excitement. I think we did that today. But 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 similarly, you know, my thanks go to them because they, they generated a great atmosphere today and got right behind us. I imagine one of the things that would delight you the most is that the momentum from Tuesday was certainly carried into that game and it was a fast start and now we're enjoying opening the scoring. Yeah, it was. Uh, and, and we didn't have everything our own way. I always felt during the course of the game that we needed the third goal. And, and it was a real quality goal as well. But we, we created a lot of chances in the first half. Start of the second, we, we you know we can probably look at that area and say, did we, you know, did we get on the ball enough? Did we pass it? Uh, they, they had a little bit uh, uh, too much, I felt, and I didn't think that um, you know we went from enough in that period. But but similarly, you know, there's a lot of good things today to base it on, and and in the end, you know, a very good win. Oh, my Beckles, I feel like we could talk about him a lot this season with the danger he poses in the box. And, and once again, another set piece, which has worked very well for you. Yeah, and, and Tom's selection was very good, you know, to pick out the late run for, for Darren. And, and, you know, you do need one or two players on the ball who can just be able to look at it and, and be able to play off the cuff and select the right ball at the right time and, and find the gap. And, and I do think for Tom, he's capable of that. Like you say, that third goal was, was very important and no doubt you've got a very relieved goalkeeper in there who, after giving that penalty away, made a fine save. In the yeah, you know, it looked... It'd be interesting. It looked like the run from from Brown was was maybe offside, but um, you know, wasn't at a great angle to see that, and I haven't seen it again. But but then similarly, it did look a penalty to me. You know, it just Brown just got there before. Uh, fair play to Lawrence. So even even not just for the first save, but the second save as well. You know, they followed up very very well, and uh, you know, the second save was a, was a, was an excellent one. Uh, and um, you know, he's had a good start to, to this season. I'm very very, very pleased with him. Whilst the 3 0 will obviously be uh, celebrated by the attackers and those who got the goals, just as important is that clean sheet, and, and no doubt the whole team will be delighted with that. Yeah, I mean, the big moments for, for them really was, the, with the, well, obviously the penalty, but then the free kick right at the end on 96 minutes, which, you know, seemed to bobble around, and, and um, you know, I don't think we defended that particularly well. Uh, just sometimes your subs just dis disturb those, those details. But, um, yeah, we rode it through and as you say, it's a very good win, it's a nice clean sheet. Uh, there's always things to improve on, uh, but um, the spirit of the players and at times as well, the quality is very good and we have to base it on that. A red card and with it came the chance to kill off the game and, and you've got to be delighted for Fear Archibald to, to get off the mark and, and send a goal, uh, fans behind the goal, absolutely wild. Yeah, it gives us good balance down that side and, and we're just talking about then when, when we do attack down the other side, he can't then you know wait on the on the wide area, you know, we have to get in between the posts and, and that's a you know, very good example of it. You know, sometimes in sort of open play for, for, for that wide forward that we have, you know, do, do they pull out and, and try to get the ball to feet or, or do they start heading in towards the goal? That's their decisions and, and it's difficult to get it right all of the time. But similarly, you know, I don't want him to just stay out on the left all of the time. He is a good outlet for us and a very good crosser, but particularly when we're going through the middle or, or there's a build up down the right, I want him inside, maybe across the centre forward and, and uh, inside the posts anyway. And, and it was a good run. And I've got to say, a composed finish as well. Mm. Another positive from today is minutes of Harry Smith, no doubt going to be a big player this year. How, how important is that for you to get him on the pitch and, and contribute in? Yeah, I mean, you know, we're looking in our first couple of league games and, and, and we look we look okay and, and there's plenty to work on. You know, I'm just looking behind that at my depth, you know, like every manager, at my options through the course of the season. Uh, some good young players that can step in and, and, you know, then waiting for one or two people to come back and Harry's been one of those. Uh, but, but, you know, it's great for him to to come on, you know, he's been around us now for quite a few weeks, so he does understand the system and, and what's needed for him. And, and you know, when, when you know, both him and, 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 and Aaron Drinnen, you know, are on the pitch, there is a fair bit of power there. But, you know, we also need Paul Smith back as well because he's a good option for us. Mm. And just finally, I guess, obviously, you've got the supporters back in. It's, it's a 3-0 win. You know, everything seems to have gone to plan today. A proper taste of, of life in E10. You know, you and the, and the players today must have really enjoyed that as an occasion. Yeah, of course, it was a big challenge. We didn't have everything our, our own way. You know, although it's a three-nil win, they had they had large chunks without really being able to get the shots in. To be honest with you, but the, the shape they play, they do give you problems, and they work it out very, very well to the wing back. And you know, at the right time, you've got to defend your box. But then ultimately, what you have to do is is pose pose a threat on the, not necessarily the counter attack, but just 
being, at, being able to go forward, exploit the spaces. And, and, and I did think that, particularly in the first half, uh, we did that. I'm pleased with the win, pleased with the attitude of the players. There's things that we, we, we have to keep working on and moving forward with. Uh, but, you know, you would expect that at this stage of the season. We, ha we have to have the, the appetite and the hunger to keep improving.